Hello, dear all. Welcome back again. Today we will discuss about how to calculate the correlation of NDVI with the line surface temperature. Okay, our topic is how to calculate yeah, how to make a correlation graph between LSD and NDVI. So basically, this is a correlation graph between NDVI and LSD. These are six correlation graph and the methodology will be explained in the methodology session here. Uh, he can say that add the image into the arc map whose NDVI and LSD is calculated. The first step is that uh, we are open the arc map here. The two images, the one of them is LSD. The second one is NDVI. Okay, what is the next step? The next step, apply the create fishnet tool. Okay, the next step is go to the arc toolbox, then go to the data management tool, then go the sampling, then there is a tool named as a create fishnet, click here. Okay, output future class, the first parameter is output future class. Here you can define the output future class. You can say that LST and DVI 2020. Okay, save. The next step here, template extent optional. Here you can define the study area layer. Okay, the next step is that uh, cell size, word cell uh, size height, number of rows, number of columns. Here you can input 50 number of rows and 50 number of columns. Okay, there is an option create label point. You can check this dialog box. Then the geometry type, select polygon. Okay, hit the OK button. Okay, the finally, uh, the tool is run. You can uncheck this layer and check out these all points are visible. Remove this layer and the next step is clip these points for this purpose. Okay, what is the next step here to mention? Run the extract multipoint value tool. Okay, on both layer LST and NDVI, then use clip tool. Okay, the next step is extract multipoint values and clip tool. Okay, go to geoprocessing clip tool here. You can uh, input the future, this one, this layer, and uh, here you can input your study area layer. Here you can define the output. Okay. Okay, so click on save button, then hit the OK button. Okay, the clip layer, uh, you can see is that the clap points are clipped. The next step is to extract the multi point value. For this purpose, you go to R2, R toolbox, then go to the spatial analyst tool, then go to the extraction, then go to the extract multi values to point. Okay, here you can add uh, your LST layer and your NDVI layer and your point layer which clipped. Okay, run the tool. Okay, the tool is finally run. Here you can open the attribute table. Okay, this these are the LST values and these are the NDVI values. The tables are created. The next step is here to click then create, click on create graph. Okay, here you can select the scatter plot. Okay, the X field and the Y field, these are the two parameter. Here you can input uh, LST along X axis and uh, okay, y, y field along LST and X field along NDVI. Okay, the next step is that you can uh, sample properties here you can uh, uh, adjust the width and the heights of these samples. Okay, these are the shapes and different circles, triangles, cross, and uh, I'm going to choose diamond shape. Okay, then the uh, next step is scatter plot. Click on add button, then click on new function. Here you can add the trend. Click on scatter plot, shows the label. You can also change color of this line from here. Okay, the next step is to click on next button. Here you can uh, change these uh, names along X axis and along Y axis for this purpose. Go to the axis properties. Here you can type 
just like that okay uh, and now we are going to create brackets here okay the next step is you can uh, add the title lsd and ndvi lsd and ndvi okay lsd and ndvi here you can type graph or lsd and ndvi correlation here you can write the year okay graph of lsd and ndvi correlation 2020 okay click on the finish button so finally your correlation graph are created here you can right click then go to the export then click as jpeg in which format you want to save you can choose this format okay here you can add the 100 uh, dpi 400 okay you can preview it from here okay the finally uh, your correlation graph is created okay now we i am going to save on desktop okay click on save button okay graph is created save thank you so much all of them